Kohler here with another tax and legal tip. Let's talk about the IRA and 401k. I'm consistently asked, what's the difference? Which one's best for me? Well, there's pros and cons to both and it depends on your situation. Let's hit the whiteboard. Now there's a lot here, so it's gonna take us probably a couple whiteboards to work through this, but I'm gonna work quickly and uh, I'm gonna suggest you get a consultation with either an attorney or CPA at our office with a professional that understands the difference and isn't trying to sell you something. So let's hit IRA and 401k. And again, like I said, there's pros and cons to both. The first one is contribution limits. If you wanna put away a lot of money, uh, the IRA may not be for you. If you're just trying to get some investments going and can afford to well, let's save four or 500 bucks a month max, well, this could be a perfect fit because with the IRA, you can only do 5,500, or if you're age 15 above, you can do 6,500. So you're limited, you know, there's some limits there. With a 401k, you can do 18 grand or up to 24,000 if you're over age 50, and you can also do up to a 25% match of the contributions. So we can sock away a lot of money with the 401k. Also with the IRA, there's income limitations, meaning you don't get a tax deduction if you make too much money. So this is uh, not a good fit, but then with the 401k, there's no income limitations. So again, that shows kind of one of the first major differences when it comes to the IRA and 401k. Next comes the 60-day and borrowing provisions. But let's make sense of that. With an IRA, you can actually take the money out for up to 60 days, and as long as you put it back, there's no penalty, there's no tax, nothing. Take it out, go make some money, go use it wisely, put it back, you keep the profit of what you may be made, that's called a 60-day rollover. That's okay with an IRA, but you cannot do a 60-day rollover with a 401k. So no 60 day rollover, Ugh, well that's a pain, but with a 401k, you can borrow. <laughs> now that's awesome. You can borrow up to 50 grand or 50% of the balance in your 401k. That's a big deal. IRA, you cannot borrow from an IRA. So no borrowing provision. Now let me say this now, as some of you might be getting confused as to, uh, I'm already confused Mark, which one's for me? Just watch, listen, and look at the differences, make some notes, and then when we have a consultation or conversation, we can look at what your goals are, your fact pattern, and help, ta help tailor it to your situation. Now, let's talk about ease and affordability, cost of setup, all that sort of stuff. The IRA is gonna be cheaper and easier. It's just because you can walk into any bank and get one going, and I recommend it. If you can even save $100 a month, go in and start an IRA and get the process started. You start to look at the trajectory of uh, saving now versus later, it's huge, right? It snowballs, <laughs> that time value of money. So get started and it's cheap and easy. With a 401k, it could cost you a little bit to set up. Now, if you have a day job and they provide a 401k and there's some matching, whole other world, right? Pretty cool. But if you're an entrepreneur and uh, have an S corporation or small business, oh, I love the 401k. I'll explain a couple of those benefits here in a second. But the cost is gonna be around 1200 bucks to set up. If anybody's trying to charge you a lot more than that, get a second opinion. But we charge 1200 bucks and you get to be your own trustee and you get to self-direct your 401k, something I'll come to in a minute. But there's a cost to set up, but again, there's more flexibility and benefits down the road. Now regarding that flexibility, with an IRA, you have to have a custodian or a bank or a third party that's gonna give you statements and kinda of control the money or at least uh, invest it where you say. Uh, now you can still self-direct, which I'm coming to here, but the nice thing about a 401k is you can self-trustee. Uh, now some may say that's like giving you a loaded gun. You're gonna have to know the rules um, so you don't get into trouble, but the 401k can be so affordable and simple once you set it up. We charge 300 bucks a year to help you maintain it, kind of like your third party administrator to give you the rules. But you can self-trustee, there's no custodian, no stockbroker or a bank telling you what you can do. That's the beauty of the 401k. Again, the solo, you and your small business is you can be in control. Which brings us to self-directing. Self-directing you can do in both models. Self-directing, if you haven't learned about this before, watch some of my other videos, but you can invest in what you know best, real estate, 
small businesses, do hard money loans, buy Super Bowl tickets and resell them, Selena Gomez tickets. Uh, you can buy anything you can uh, except collectibles like wine or coins, but you can buy these items and then resell them and the profit goes back into your retirement account, whether it's an IRA or 401k. Now, when you're self-directing, probably the last big difference between the two is this thing called Unrelated Debt Financed Income, or UDFI. Now, for those that are experts out there, or you've been self-directing your retirement account for a while, if you take your IRA and borrow money to buy a rental property, put 50,000 down and borrow 50,000, you now have leverage in your IRA. You're gonna pay what's called UDFI, or Unrelated Debt Financed Income, when you go sell the property. But the beauty of a 401k, is there's no UDFI. So when I have clients that wanna borrow, they're gonna to lean towards the 401k because they avoid that tax altogether. Bottom line, let me make this basic recommendation. If you wanna put away a lot of money or you wanna self-direct and borrow or leverage in the investments you're doing, a 401k is gonna make the most sense. If you're not gonna self-direct with leverage and you just wanna get a few dollars put away or you already have a big IRA with a nest egg and you just wanna self-direct it, an IRA may be a simpler way to go. So again, depending on your situation, both of them could work for you. It's not one being better or worse than the other. So get your consultation, do your research and apply it to your situation. Thanks so much for watching, and if you found that helpful, please look in the description below. I've got links to my tax and legal library, my QuickBooks training videos, how to start a small business, 50, 60, 70 videos, some as long as 30 minutes explaining more information on tax and legal strategies that will change your life. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to my newsletter or check out my social media links, please click here. There are weekly free tips and strategies and articles that you'll find extremely helpful. And I would appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel. I've got so many videos here I produce every week on my YouTube channel and I'd love to give you a ping every time I shoot a new video. Thanks so much and keep living the American dream.